Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Coronation Street viewers blast a truly awful character as they rip off legendary villain. However, Coronation Street viewers have already grown tired of the lad after spotting strong similarities with another villain. Could the ITV soap be recycling its storylines and characters? Viewers have become increasingly convinced it could be the case. In recent scenes of the Manchester-based drama, Dylan Wilson became involved with wayward teen Mason Radcliffe. Unfortunately for Dylan, Mason is becoming a bad influence and wreaking havoc in Weatherfield. Spoilers for next week have confirmed Mason would be causing Dylan and even Hope State more trouble, prompting the young girl's family to become involved. But since his arrival in the street in September 2023, Mason has failed to convince Soap fans he has potential to be another iconic villain. Throughout recent weeks, Mason has heavily criticized by viewers on social media platforms and the likes of Reddit and X. Hate it? Hate the character. Hate the writing. I expect him to gone and forgotten in four months, I hope. One Reddit user notably commented, A truly awful character. The modern writers can't create compelling characters. They have to be cartoon villains according to all these shows nowadays, another added. A third echoed, Just trying to bring in a Cory 2.0 recycled story. Indeed, many Cory viewers have suggested that Mason is too similar to former villain Cory Brent, who terrorized Weatherfield from 2019 to 2021. Mason is the new Cory, one soap fan penned on X as a second added. Mason is like a Poundland Cory. A third viewer agreed. Mason another Cory. Is Mason supposed to be a scary bully? Even Cory Brent was scarier than him. One fan quipped. So far, Mason has mostly been involved in school drama, but it could escalate into dangerous business, as Corey's behavior became murderous. The troublemaker played by Maximus Evans first showed up in the cobbles in 2019 and developed feelings for Asha Allahan. However, their relationship turned sour when he began to control her and intimidate her. Corey and his friends targeted Seb Franklin and Nina Lucas due to them being goths. The couple were attacked in May 2021, and while Nina, Molly Gallagher, survived, Seb was kicked several times in the head, which resulted in his death. Kelly Nealon went down for the murder, but DNA evidence eventually proved Corey was responsible, and he received a 14-year prison sentence in November 2021, making him eligible for parole in 2035. Could Mason become just as dangerous? If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.